Hi friends, thanks for joining me. Today on my channel, I am going to do a follow-up on my Mary Kay skincare trial that I was doing. In case you missed it, I will link probably somewhere up here or over here the original video, but essentially I was doing a 21 day challenge where I was going to use exclusively a Mary Kay skin line. What prompted me to do this is Avon stopped making my line of skincare, and since then I've been playing around and I've not had too much success, and so I thought, well, with this promotion that they were doing, they were offering, I think it was a 21% discount for the line. So I talked to a Mary Kay consultant who was in my makeup group, and from there she decided to help me out and decide what I should do for a line. And she chose the normal to oily combination skin line for me, and that consisted of a three-in-one cleanser, and I am somebody who is prone to exclusively using an acne cleanser. I didn't even use the Avon face wash when it came with my kit because it didn't feel like it was helping my acne at all. And I have to say that when I first started this, I didn't have uh, a ton of acne. My skin had gone through a crazy period when I tried out the e.l.f. skincare, and it had really calmed down as I was trying different things to suppress it. And I did have some acne um, right by my bottom part of my lip, which I think you could have seen in uh, my, my before pictures. And then I also had some acne up along my hairline. Surprised to say that this um, seems to have helped combat my acne. Again, it wasn't really heavy, but I also haven't gotten any new acne and the pimples that I did have have since gone away. This is a kind of strange gel-like cleanser. I'm gonna show you guys a close up. There are little like beads almost in here. There's a combination of um, clear what feels like an exfoliator and then there are also as you can see up close here some of those purple beads at first I was nervous because I didn't want to be using an exfoliator every single day but this is by no means harsh I feel like what it does as you're using it is that it just sort of gently gets at some of the dirt that perhaps a regular cream cleanser wouldn't be able to get at. However, the purple little bubble things there don't break up like I thought they would. But again, I have not had a problem using this. I like this. Um, I think I will go back to acne wash once this is done simply because I have some acne washes on backstock and I'm not gonna let them go to waste. Um, but I'll be curious to see if over time my skin, which is known for adapting to face wash, if my skin will adapt to this and then this will become not as effective. This was a 4.5 ounce bottle and I know it's been more than 21 days, but I'm not able to, when I look in the light and stuff, be able to see through the bottle to see how much I used, but it feels like there is quite a bit in here left. I feel like this is going to last me around three or four months, which I think is an appropriate time for something of this size and this price tag to last me. Next up, we have this TimeWise Age Fighting Moisturizer. This I was a little hesitant about because it is the same moisturizer that you're using regardless. The only factors that change are the solution that you put underneath the uh, moisturizer. And I have never had something like that. I'm used to having something that is specific today and very uh, specific and very specific to the nighttime. So I was not used to this. And I have to say, I feel like I've gone through um, a good portion of this. Um, I'll show you, I put on about this much on my face, which maybe is too much, maybe it's not, but I noticed that my skin um, doesn't have a problem absorbing it. I put it all around my face. I really do like it. It's a quick absorbent. Um, product, but with you using it twice a day and only having three ounces in here, this is going to run out um, much quicker than I think your face wash would or the other solutions that you're putting on um, underneath this. Next up during the day, you use this day solution sunscreen. It's got SPF 35 in it, which is a pretty nice SPF. And I will admit, when I first started, I was nervous about layering these two items and then putting on a primer and then putting on um, any kind of BB cream or foundation. Um, but I have to say, this is a really thin texture and not in a bad way. I use two pumps of this, which gets me plenty of product. It has a little bit of a sunscreen smell to it, obviously 
obviously, but when you put it on, the smell immediately goes away, and it's so thin that it's not like I'm putting anything on. I've actually waited a few minutes in the past to see how long it takes my skin to absorb it, and I'd say within 30 seconds, it's completely sucked in, and the moisturizer, 30 more seconds, so about a minute of drying time, I don't think is bad for two layers, and I really do feel like this is an effective, it's not oily, it's not breaking my skin out, um, so I'm happy with this. The last part of this is the TimeWise Night Solution. And you can see here in a little over 21 days, I have gone through perhaps like the first third of it. So again, I'm not sure how long it'll completely last me, maybe three months at the most, which I don't know, the whole line ran me, I think like $70 when I bought it at a discounted rate. So I don't know how that compares to my Avon. I think I was going through my day and night creams for Avon every four months, but then my under eye cream I was going through in like, I don't know, five or six months and I wasn't using a face wash. So back to this, in here you can see that there are little tiny beads or some sort of different colored product suspended within the uh, overall gel liquid. And what's really interesting about this is as you pump this, those colored beads automatically seem to squish and they're not even noticeable when you first pump it out. So I'll show you, this is a bit more liquidy so it could be a bit harder. But you can't even see the different color um, solutions in here. And again, I do one pump of this, I get it all over my face, it absorbs super fast and I really have liked it. The only real con I have seen to this, I guess there are two. The first is that my under eye circles have become a little bit darker. And when I spoke to my consultant about that, she thought that it could have been because I was using this um, in my under eye area and I should maybe avoid doing that. But I'm, I don't feel comfortable not moisturizing my under eye area at all. I don't think that's gonna make a solution happen. I really think it's because I'm not using an under eye cream. I was prior to this using the Benefit um, Brightening Under Eye Cream, and I think that that was helping, and when I adopted the Mary Kay line for this challenge, I stopped using all things that I had been using. No moisturizers, no pimple cream, no face washes. I was just exclusively using these four items minus like a face mask here or there, but I wanted to really test out these four items exclusively on their own, and I'm happy to report that while I don't have any acne or anything like that, my under eyes are darker and I think it's a really a testament to not using a brightening under eye cream. So I think I will now bring that in and see if that makes a difference, see what that does with this. Um, I know I was given a sample of the under eye cream, but it's not enough for you to really know the long term effects and I'm not necessarily tempted to buy the Mary Kay under eye cream until I go through the supply that I have because I don't want to have a bunch of open containers and then waste my money. The other thing that the line claimed, which I can't really fault it for yet, but it claimed that within six weeks, your fine lines that you might have, and I do have some fine lines, will start to become lesser. Now, I have seen zero change in that, but it's only been, I would say, probably a month that I've been using this. I would say I would give it you know, another month before I would expect to see some sort of progress. I'm not looking for miracles here, but if a product is going to claim it can do something, I do wanna see some kind of change. But I think as you can see in my before and after pictures, there isn't necessarily significant changes happening to my skin, but I am seeing a consistent clarity with my skin, so I do feel confident saying that I am going to keep using this Mary Kay line. Um, I don't guarantee that I'll keep using the face wash exclusively. I might bring in something else, and I'm probably going to bring in an under eye cream, but I have been really happy with these three things in particular. I think that these three things are unique enough that I would feel confident recommending them to you. If you're somebody who has skin like me, again, I don't have a ton of acne, but I did have some breakout happening when I first took this on and I also experienced a menstrual cycle when I was on this and I mean my skin balance just remained the same and that to me says a lot about a product and I do feel confident using this. All right, guys, I know some of you guys gave me your recommendations and your um, thoughts about Mary Kay before when I was doing this challenge. I'd love to hear from you guys now to hear if maybe you've tried some skincare from Mary Kay or if you might want to try this. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys in general about this because I'm, I didn't know what to expect going into this, and I've been really pleased with the results overall. All right, guys, that's it for me, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.